Spring is around the corner, and for many of us, that means it's fire cross season. This beauty is on the website right now. Classic red top, orange bottom. Got that shatter bait and a laminate as the trailer. But I'm thinking we do something a little bit different. Show them a little something different when everybody else is maybe throwing the classic. So today we break out the rabbit and the UV polar chenille. Just like the one I already showed you, this one's going to be a bladed jig as well. And our head of choice is going to be that modified poison tail where I can put a flat eye hook in there, attach our split ring, and be good to go for the bladed jig. Thread of choice, red 210 denier flat wax nylon. We will not start up at the head on this one. We're actually going to start back here to put our rabbit in. So get a quick base there. Instead of choosing between red or orange for the trailer, we're actually going to use both. If you've never used rabbit on a swim jig, bladed jig type of build, I can tell you that they swim beautifully. So these two, as they flap around, I'm hoping that they will show a little bit of each other. So let's start off with the orange one on the first side. I took a little bit of hair off the leather where I attached it just to get um, thread on the leather itself. There you can see, did the same with the red. That looks good and we'll cinch that or not cinch it down quite yet but get a good um, base on that and then we will cinch it down with a couple half hitches slash whip finishes right here just to lock that portion in place next step uv polar chenille and this is an awesome color called rusty brown i think a rusty Craw, rusty copper, rust, copper, rust. I don't know, something like that. It'll be down in the description. We're gonna use this to fill in the space from the tail all the way up to where we're gonna put our um, uh, silicone in for the skirt. So to that end, we'll go ahead and bring that thread forward, put a little half hitch right here. There we go, and now we can bring around our holder and hang that guy off the side so we can use the rotary and fill in uh, the body. Keep these guys out of my way. We'll just clip them in here to the vise. All right, this first turn we wanna make sure is all the way back and against the hair. And then pull it back so you don't cover up any as much as you can anyhow. Yeah, see that? Got to pull that back so it doesn't make a mess. We're going to go beyond there up to this first collar and keep going. This will give us a nice uh, full underbody, right? As well as a shimmer and all kinds of good stuff as the skirt kind of flutters and does its thing this will shine through one thing about fire crawl man it is a loud obnoxious pattern on purpose so the more glint the more noise the more action we can get out of this stuff the better first of our silicone this is going to be the belly and it's called orange pepper I like this stuff not only because it's got a nice bright orange in the silicone itself and the black is um, nice texture, right? We always like that in soft plastics too, but it's also got little flakes of orange throughout it. Nice and loud, just what we're after. That looks good. I'm going to go about halfway down on either side. Pinch so it doesn't move on you and pull. Now for the top, Nature's Edge Red. 
like this one. Pretty bright red as well. You could use just about anything you like, but once again, I dig the black specks. Loose wrap or two, just to hold it in place, measure it out, make sure that we're even. And go ahead and pull that one down so that it meets up with the orange. Before I tighten that down, got to clip out just to keep this stuff kind of in check. And I'll go ahead and do the same for this side so I don't trap any. We also have some more silicone to go, so it's good to get it out of our way right now. Keep it nice and clean. Yeah, that looks good. So we got this black speckly thing going, right? We got black speckles in the top. We've got some smaller little speckles in the bottom on the orange. I'm gonna maximize that or play off of that and add not a full tab. We're actually gonna add just a couple pieces, but I wanted to show you the whole thing. This is black with silver crystal. Really faint silver. Kind of see it when I turn it there. Mainly black. The crystal is just a nice little reflective added additive. If I had black with red, I would totally do that, but I don't. So we're gonna use that. I have two strands, two of two, right? Four, tra tra four strands total, two batches of two. This is gonna be kind of a lateral line between the, the red and the orange. Just something to add to the side, break it up a little bit. So right on the side, doesn't take much, right? Right on the side, rinse and repeat. Bingo, bango. Got our nice little black lateral line. Get these in the clip to keep them out of our way. As I've already mentioned, we are after flash, loud, in your face. We're after a reaction bite from this guy. Nothing subtle whatsoever. We've already got that flashy underpin. Now it's time to add some flash of boo to both the sides and the top. And I am not going to be bashful. So we're gonna turn it to the side. Put that bad boy right there. Two wraps and then fold it over and pin it down. Beautiful. Same thing on the other side. There it is, nice and flashy on that side as well. Both sides are in, but as I mentioned, we are not done. Yes, more flashaboo to come. This is holographic copper, and since we used copper as an underbody, I thought this would be a nice accent. It's also just a little bit darker, which generally speaking, darker on top is a good move. Not being bashful once again. I've got another at least six, eight, ten. I mean, you guys do you. If this is too much for you, or if you want to go even more, you do you. But I am after a serious flash effect with this guy. So I'm loading it up. And keep in mind, too, that all of this flashaboo is going to be under the silicone, as that silicone folds over from the front, what's off the head right now, as that folds over, it's gonna hide a lot of that. So only as it moves around, are you gonna be able to see the glints and the flashes. So we can afford a little bit more. I'm gonna move that around on top just to make sure it's well covered. See that, all covered up. Looks good, time to pin it down. And in fact, that is our final element. So. I'm gonna make sure that our thread collar here is all taken care of. It does look pretty good. Time for some whip finishes then. One, two, three, four, five. Loon water-based head cement to seal those threads. And the only thing left to do now, cut it all free. So I lied. <laughs> we got to cut it loose, which I did, but we also have to connect the blade. So I've done that with the split ring and this is that red 
holographic tape on both sides. Is that not fantastic? The perfect complement to this build along with this head color, which I didn't even mention. Hello. That is the Barlow's Tackle uh, Lava Craw Nova Stone Powder Paint. And it is a perfect match for Fire Craw in this build. This guy is going to get bit and I cannot wait for spring. I also can't wait for the next build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. So until then, I'll see you guys in the shop.